So, first time without kids ever. How do you feel? Like I can do whatever I want. It's fantastic. No tiny humans dictating my every move. They're hungry, they're tired, their legs are tired. No stroller, no, no diaper stroller, bag. No diaper bags, it's great. Freedom. So we are heading to Lancaster, PA for the first time since we've been married. I don't think you've ever been there, have you? No. And we are gonna explore all of the things. First we need to find food. Yes, food is a must. But not like food we've had, we have to find new food. Yes, like, unless it's like smoked wings. Then it can be well, yeah. food we have. That's true. Let's do it. Okay, so we just finished at the restaurant. How was it? It's good. I feel like it took me like a minute to deprogram from mom mode. Like, no, dad mode went out the window the moment I stepped out of the house. No, like, I was still like thinking about the kids, and you know, it's been eight years, and I'm always just on mom mode. And so it wasn't until like our meal came that I was like, okay, like I can just be me, and that I don't have to worry about the kids because they're safe in their home, and it's it's weird. It's a weird feeling. No, it's, it's a great feeling. It is great. It is great. But it just took a minute for me. Yeah. I had to, like, eject mom brain. No, I had an hour and a half drive to eject no. dad brain. It doesn't work that way for me. But anyway, that was delicious. It was very good. So, let's like go pork explore. Belly. I like pork belly. Hey. I didn't think I would. It wasn't super fatty. But it's not super fatty. It's really good. It was delicious. No regrets. All right, let's see what we can find to do. Let's do it. So we just parked downtown and we're joking around because Curran is from the country and so anything like parallel parking or driving in the city, things like that is just not his jam. So we found a parking spot and one he hit the curb and two, the cars parked really close together. But if if we get blocked in a parallel parking spot, don't worry, I got us covered. I didn't hit the curb. I was trying to scare that guy. <laughs>
you're videoing it. Let's see if we can pop that cork without breaking something in this room. When's the last time you opened a bottle of champagne? Not that long ago. Opening it's not the problem. It's pouring it without making a mess. The hard part. Okay, so we finished walking around downtown and we came back to the hotel and we had a, a, a hotel reservation. A restaurant reservation for 7 o'clock. So we get to the hotel at like 6.30, checking in takes longer than we expect, and we're not really hungry because we had delicious food while we were walking around town. So we were like, you know what, we can get room service, let's just cancel it. And we can always, the restaurant didn't look crowded, we can go back down later, whatever. Like, we're on vacation, we're not going to stress over it. So we get up to the room, we have like 10 minutes to rest, there's champagne in our room, and when you know, like, 30 minutes pass by, and I'm like, actually, I could go for a snack. <laughs> so if we would have just kept our hotel reservation, we would probably be getting our food right about now. But instead, now we have to go explore and probably end up at the same restaurant anyway. but I wanted to show you some of the stuff I got in the shops that we visited yesterday because they were super cool. So, um, one of the favorite shops that we went to was a dill pickle, not necessarily dill pickle, but like a pickle store. So we got these Parmesan peppercorn pretzels. They had this dipping mustard. And then my mom recently has gotten very into Picklebacks. Ooh, ooh, she get into that. So I got her a set of these shot glasses and they say Lancaster Pickle Co. on them and they're super cute and they're made of ceramic. So I thought they were really cute. And then we also got her um, some pickle juice from there as well. And then we couldn't leave the pickle store without getting actual pickles. So the flavor we got was called garlic onion and let me tell you, they are delicious. Totally worth it. Um, then the other store we went to it's called Building Character, and in this store, just had a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Um, let me pull it all out here. Okay, so I got this. Look how gorgeous this is. This is a bath bomb. So that's really cool. Um, I thought maybe we'd be able to use it at the hotel, but our hotel only has a stand-up shower, but that's okay. Um, and then, if you know me, I love chickens. I have chickens, I love them, they are my besties. Um, so I saw this postcard and I just thought it was so cute. Um, so that had to come home with me as a little souvenir. I also got a couple of bookmarks. These are so cute and they're made of metal. Um, so I got one for my son who is super into reading right now, which I love. Then I got um, two other ones, one for my mom and then this one for me. So the Michael Scott quote is, sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way, like an improv conversation, an improversation. So I love that. And then the, this one is from Little House on the Prairie and it says, I am beginning to learn that it is the sweet, simple things of life which are the real ones after all. So super cute. And then to go with my love of chickens and my love of journals, they had this super cute notebook and also they had this super cute notebook. So I grabbed both of those. And then the last bag is from a candy store. It was, you saw it in the video, it was the cutest candy store I've ever been in. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So we got some candy fish, some gummy candy. 
and then we got two of these. I really wanted to try these debunked. It's like a little smoothie and a pouch, and I thought it'd be good to try those. And then some licorice, and the packaging is all so cute. I love it all. And then um, a sticker. So yeah, that's everything we got. I'm going to go get ready for the day, put some makeup on, and then we're gonna hit a few different breweries today, so I'm super excited. Hi, hello. So this is my outfit for the day. Super cute. I got this dress from Amazon and then I'm wearing some cute white sneakers with it and super comfy for another day on the town. So I'll try to link this dress down below. Super flattering for the mom bod, but still kind of cute and fun and also lightweight because We just hit hot. our first brewery and how was it? It's delicious. So we got a breakfast burger with like a fried egg on top and legit the best Bloody Mary I've ever had in my life. So if you really like Bloody Marys, check out, what was it called? Our Old Town. Town. Our Town. Our I always Town. want to call it Old Town because we're in Old Town, but it's Our Town. All right, guys, so we are home. We've squeezed our kids. We had the best time this weekend. I will tell you what, for years and years and years, I really fought going away without the kids. I just felt like they're little and they go to bed so early. Like, why Why would we need to go away without them? I, I really was not on board, but... The more we've had, we have three of them now, and I work, my husband works, and so it just, life gets crazy, and you know what? It was so good just to kind of hit the reset button, reconnect as a couple, redefine, like, our goals and where we're going with the kids, and just, you know, have that time away. So, man, so worth it. If you have the opportunity to go away with your significant other, just those 28 hours was so good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video.